Bitmaps. This one's about bitmaps. You ever seen a bitmap? I've seen some bitmaps. You ever seen a batch mode bitmap? You ever seen a batch mode bitmap be good? Yeah, me either. <laughs> anyway, let's look at some row mode bitmaps. Those magical, wonderful, bloom filtery, sometimes making your query faster y things. I've spent <clears throat> a lot of time reading uh, research and literature about bitmaps, and that's pretty much word for word uh, what all of them say. Not a not a whole lot else in there. So it's good that good that they're so easy to convey to the layman. So let's look at uh, <clears throat> times when bitmaps are useful. Let's look at times when bitmaps are useless. And let's look at times where bitmaps don't end up where you might expect them. Bitmaps. Bitmaps. So let's see. When is a bitmap useful? Well, they're generally useful when they, 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 they reduce the number of rows that come out of a scan. All right. So let's... Let's go look at this execution plan, and let's let's do ourselves a little thinking. Let's do use our use a little bit of that gray matter that's been atrophying away. This extended Netflix and chill session. So in this execution plan, we have a bitmap that gets created here, and this is where bitmaps get created. Generally, sometimes in uh, parallel merge join plans, they might be on the the inner side of a join, but we're not going to look at those because. Parallel merge join plans were a mistake. They should never happen. So a bitmap gets created here. Uh, and it sort of keeps track of values that we've seen. We create a, a little little bitmap filter that we can apply elsewhere in the query plan. This is where it gets created, but where it gets used is on the inner side of a join. If we hover over this uh, clustered index scan right here, and we look at the tooltip. We have a predicate where we are probing in row for data. Ooh, in row probe. Ooh la la. That sounds fancy. That sounds like a fun time. Hmm. But we can see that probe is on bitmap 1004, which is the bitmap that got created up yonder. And uh, what it's doing is uh, before rows even pass through various storage engine things, uh, we are we are filtering them out. So there are rows that are not going to uh, really even enter the scan. We are at the storage engine layer, filtering out things that we don't need. And uh, you can see that reflected a bit. Now it's easy to see here because there's no additional predicates. If we had like another predicate on the users, uh, on filtering something on the users table, you might see uh, an additional predicate uh, applied here. And uh, it might be a little bit harder to ascertain if the bitmap was useful or useless. But in this case, uh, we have 39,789 of about 2.4 million rows leaving the scan. Normally, one might think that this was just a bad estimate, but in this case, it is because we have this bitmap that is going in and filtering rows out. Isn't that lucky for us? If we look at the number of rows that we estimated to read, which is all of them, and the number of rows that we actually read, which is sig significantly less at 83,000, and then the actual number of rows that passed out, which is about 39,000, this bitmap did a significant amount of uh, filtering for us. And we did not, and we this query did less work because of it, which is fantastic, a fantastical time. Now, let's look at when a bitmap is useless. All right. Let's scroll on down here. My mouse wheel has been so weird lately. It's like sometimes it goes and other times it just jumps around. And I, I don't know anymore if it's, if it's mice or if it's my laptop or laptop dock because it seems like uh, I, I, get, I get a new mouse every three months and then out of nowhere the, the scroll wheel starts to not being helpful for me. So, anyway, useless bitmap is this one. And uh, it's not because the query is so very slow or anything, and 
whatever. Uh, it's more about what the bitmap actually does. Hmm? So here, again, we will look at the index scan on the users table. Let's hover on over that. We have our predicate in row bitmap again, our hero has arrived here to save the day, here to make this query amazingly fast, except it's ab utterly, absolutely, pointlessly useless. There's no point to this bitmap whatsoever. Um, if we look at uh, things in here, we might think, wow, we got such a great estimate. This is the best query plan ever. Good job, optimizer. Way to guess. Way to guess way better than you did on that other plan. But we, we, we'd, we'd be overlooking the fact that we have a useless bitmap involved here. So again, the bitmap gets created here. And we start keeping track of, of user IDs that we've seen and not seen. All right, well, we've got you making a filter. And then we apply it down here. But this time, rather than reducing the number of rows or the number of rows read, that doesn't happen. Every single row passes the filter. So if we look at the number of rows that we read, it's every single row in the user's table. And if we look at the number of rows that passed out of the scan, it's like every single row in the user's table. So uh, this bitmap did effectively nothing. This bitmap, I mean, it, it, it got created and it did stuff, but it just didn't help us filter out any rows. Now, this is um, sort of, I don't know, I guess, the best possible scenario for a bitmap to get applied over at the index scan, right? That, that happened in the last two queries we looked at. Sometimes bitmaps get stuck. So let's look at a case where a bitmap can get stuck in a funny, funky, awkward place. Now, if we look at this query plan, we, we again, we, we have a bitmap. It gets created here, same as the last two. First verse, same as the last verse, same as the first little. I forget how this one goes. But if we hover over the index scan here, what do we have? Nothing. Just, just a scan, just a regular old scan. And if we look over here, we have a, a hash match aggregate. We are building a residual. I'm building that. And then if we, there's, there's no probe here either. But then if we finally go over to this repartition streams, we will find our probe. Look at that. How'd that happen? I don't know. Magic. Magic. Crazy, crazy magic. Witchcraft. Uh, so at the repartition streams operator, that is where we start applying the bitmap filter. Um, I don't know that we really um, know that this is really helpful. Uh, you know, we, I mean, the, I mean, the estimate might be partially a little bit wonky because of this aggregate, which is completely wrong, right? This user ID aggregate, we are we are off by sixteen hundred or so percent, and then um, the the number of rows that uh, pass through <laughs> here is is all amok. But it's hard to know if if we can blame the bitmap on that or if we should blame um, the uh, the bad estimate on on the on the aggregate. I I would I would imagine it's some confluence of the two, but you know I'm not I'm not really a math guy, so I tend to avoid that. So bitmaps can be great uh, if you can get some early early <laughs> early. <laughs> I'm gonna have a son and name him early. Uh, if you can get some early semi row uh, semi join row reductions, you are in good shape with a bitmap. Uh, generally, though, um, if you get a bitmap and it doesn't isn't really helpful, uh, you will probably not notice. Um, it probably is not the end of the world for your query plans. But this is an interesting s subject, and it's one that uh, I don't see a lot of people talking about. So it's one that I wanted to teach you a little bit about because uh, it's one of those sort of like weird things in a query plan that a lot of people overlook and don't don't fully understand. Uh, like, like, where they, like where they actually get used, what they actually do, how to how to tell if they're, they're useful or not. So there you go. There's, there's a little bit of, of knowledge for you a little bit of wisdom on this, this brisk 
Saturday afternoon. Thank you for watching.